Welcome to another sequel of K-pop Vocal 911 Lead Vocalist Edition, as requested. We're gonna talk about lead vocalists who, for different reasons, may need to put in some serious work to improve their vocals. If you know me and my content, you know that I don't use these videos as an opportunity to shit on idols, but I'm also not the one to sugarcoat things either. My goal is healthy criticism and analysis. Please be mindful of that. You are in charge of the content you consume. This is a discussion dedicated to vocal technique. Technique isn't everything in singing, and there is a non-technical side to singing, but it is not the focus of this video. Without further ado, let's get into it. From what I'm getting, Xi'an of Everglow generally has a good reputation as a vocalist. I think a large part of it is due to her voice, which many people consider pleasant and attractive. And I agree, I think Xi'an does have a beautiful tone to her voice. And I also think that is the reason why her technical shortcomings are easier to ignore and let them slide. And there are at least a few. First of all, Xi'an's pitch accuracy is surprisingly unreliable as intonation slip-ups happen rather consistently, painfully dragging her delivery down. Switching between registers can sometimes be an issue as well. It would be ideal for Xi'an to have a good back to basics technique wise, building a solid foundation to then go off of, rediscovering a proper sense of support, developing good chords connection, much needed polishing of intonation. This will give her a more even, consistent sound and expand her skill set. And I think the results would be quite magical, especially since Sian already has a great voice to work with. Now that BLACKPINK members are starting their own solo musical paths, it is the time for Jennie to invest in her vocal skills. I believe in Jennie's artistic vision and passion for music. I do wish her the best. However, I think vocal improvement on her part is much needed in order to perform as a soloist. If I have to describe Jenny as a vocalist in two words, I choose intuitive and inconsistent. It's clear that Jenny has never built a strong vocal foundation in form of technique to rely on during singing. <laughs> Jenny has talent, yet very little sense of actual intentional control, which leaves her vocal delivery disoriented and unrefined. Her birth support is inconsistently applied, her placement is often wobbly and messy, so her dynamics are limited as well. Jenny's registers show potential, but are underdeveloped. Her intonation isn't solid enough, she cannot really use vibrato, her phrasing needs work, her legato needs work. Consistency is a major issue for Jenny. She will do a nice job one time and will disappoint another. Wow. 
that is one of the characteristics of an untrained vocalist. Okay, I think you get it. Jenny would greatly benefit from a good vocal training, polishing her technique, reworking some habits, regular practice could give Jenny the tools to express herself more freely and safely. Putting time, care and effort into developing her voice would also help Jenny find her own sound and hopefully create music of her dreams. Jisoo is actually a similar story. Her singing is more so driven by intuition rather than knowledge of vocal technique and it shows. While Jisoo can definitely hold her own to an extent, Her intonation is generally good. Jisoo also performs comfortably in the lower range. However, when Jisoo steps out of her comfort zone, the problems arise quickly. Her mix register is plagued with issues, omnipresent tension, throaty placement, overly heavy chesty mix, excessive nasality. Her upper register needs better development, so does her dynamics control and vibrato. It's a shame really, because Jisoo's voice, you could do a lot with it. I don't know how serious Jisoo is about her musical career in the future, however staying where she's at now vocally, without moving forward, would be a loss of a great potential. Can we at least hear Jisoo on a beautiful OST? Let's hope so. I mean, I'm ready for it. This one stings a little bit. Hear me out, Yuhyun up until around 2020 I think was one of the more impressive lead vocalists in the industry with a nicely rounded and healthy approach to singing even exceeding the main vocalists of her group. I of course do not know the behind the scenes or what exactly has caused it, but it's clear that things have gone downhill for Yuhyun, vocally speaking. The amount of effort Yuhyun has been putting into singing lately is concerning. The tension and general sense of struggle is palpable. Despite her best efforts, the voice sounds weaker and unstable. Taking a step back, reworking a few habits under the guidance of a good, careful vocal coach, perhaps some quality time to rest and get back in vocal shape. Even further improve would be the dream of mine that I hope will come true. Considering Yuhyun's talent and work ethic, I am sure that Yuhyun is capable, more than capable, of improvement in this area. Since I have talked about Yeji before, I'm not gonna spend too much time on her. As great as Yeji's potential is, in order to make the most out of it, there needs to be intentional care, 
time and the effort put into her vocal growth. Yeji doesn't lack the talent, this I am sure about. However, her technique is really undercooked, which really limits her as a vocalist and only puts her vocal health at risk, especially considering how she usually gets more demanding lines. I mean, she seems to have pretty resilient vocal cords, but with proper guidance, Yeji would surely improve and become a more competent, refined vocalist. But I'm afraid she will have to look outside of her company to achieve that. <laughs> Or maybe she just needs to hang out with Enmix more. You know, whatever's gonna work. To summarize, I'm confident that these idols have what it takes to improve. The most common problematic pattern we can definitely notice when taking a look at most of these idols is not taking enough time to create a good foundation and moving on to more difficult things too quickly without the right preparation which only leads to issues down the line good vocal training could give them new more refined and reliable technical tools to express themselves artistically fulfill their talents and potential and finally add even more valuable assets to their respective groups. I personally wish them the best. And this is it. This is the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I am planning on taking a break from this series and I already have an idea for the next week's video. Let's just say I'm going to play a bit of a devil's advocate. You'll see. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please take care and see you in my next one. For now, bye guys. Cause now we break all the walls. We break all the... Hey, 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 hey. Say it again.